Jahangir National University an upcoming movie is already ruffling many feathers and leading to a few debates among discerning citizens especially among students many have claimed that this movie is a reflection of india's most renowned public university jawaharlal nehru university delhi famously known as jnu is there a connection between jahangir national university and jawaharlal nehru university let us try to read between the lines in today's episode of straight up by edx life with me siddhi zozare directed by vinay sharma jnu's trailer was out on june 17 and the release date of the movie is june 21 The trailer depicts the story of a politically charged campus with left-wing and right-wing student groups embroiled with an ideological battle. The poster features a saffron map of India. The text on the poster read and I quote, "Can one educational university break the nation?" unquote. So that's about the JNU movie. But what about JNU the university? What reactions do students have to the trailer and the idea that the movie is trying to convey? Let us hear it from them. So Jahangir National University teaser is out, and uh, we have seen it is into very much controversy. The reason being, there has been certain incidents in the trailer that we have watched that relates to JNU, I'd say, like disrespecting the Sanatan religion by celebrating Maisha Sardavas or by raising anti-India slogans uh, that has been depicted, that has been shown in the trailer itself. So I'd say there might be possibilities that people are relating this trailer with JNU University, but I'd say uh, JNU students has always been. Uh, form uh, form against this anti india forces they have all, always defeated such narratives from jnu uh, i i i joined this campus in 2016 when this slogans were recently raised and i happened to uh, be with saurabh sharma ji who was at the forefront leading the forces uh, leading jnu against these uh, anti india uh, forces so i'd say uh, it's up to the viewers discretion uh, who call it uh, a movie inspired from jnu or propaganda the people who are calling it a propaganda they have been calling the kashmir files or the the kerala stories or even the tashkent files to be a propaganda movie so let's leave it to the audience let's leave it to the viewers how they uh, view and how they uh, decide jnu is purely a propaganda movie and it is a problematic in many ways uh, as we all know jnu is known for the scientific temperament and critical thinking uh, jnu is a dream for many students who are coming from the my life section and by making these kind of propaganda movies uh, they are killing the dreams of so many students who wants to come and study here at the subsidized rate you are trying to propagate the jnu student here are anti national but so many students go into academia politics administration they are nation builders not anti national it seems like the filmmaker have not even done the basic research for making the movie and the product is absolute propaganda to defame the institution so rather than attacking jnu by making these kind of movies we should ask why don't we have institution like jnu in every state if not every district of india so this is not the first time that a uh, propaganda movie has been made against jnu we had seen how few months back a movie called bastar was released which had open genocidal calls against jnu and it was or uh, directed by sudipto sen who has made movies like the kerala story which again was an attempt to spread communal hatred so today when we have the trailer of the jahangir national university um, we understand it as continuation in continuation of the continuous propaganda that has been made against jnu and other public universities as well back in 2016 an entire shutdown camp jnu campaign was run by the rss and other hindutva forces against jnu so when we look at this we understand that uh, public universities like jnu or other universities are being villainized and there are open calls to shut them down so that the private university models could flourish uh, jnu and other public universities provide as an model of an affordable and accessible education which this current regime has been trying to destroy and in its place they have been trying to boost the private universities because there is a huge fund cut that has been happening in our universities it may be recalled that jnu as a public institution has given the world several bureaucrats and notable politicians here's qs world university rankings it emerged as the highest ranking university in india the flip side is many on social media are hailing the movie saying that it will finally expose the polarized campus 
while others are slamming it as a propaganda movie. That's all we have for you today. We will come back tomorrow with another update from the education sector. For more such education related news, stay tuned to edX Life. Till then, stay hydrated and stay safe.